फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी हैव वन ऑटोनिक्स टी सी एन फॉरेस्ट मॉडल टेम्परेचर कंट्रोलर वी विल लर्न ऑल पैरामीटर सेटिंग ऑफ दिस टेम्परेचर कंट्रोलर एंड ऑल्सो लर्न फंक्शंस ऑफ ऑल पैरामीटर सो लेट स्टार्ट वीडियो एंड फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड डिस्प्ले ऑफ दिस टेम्परेचर कंट्रोलर यू कैन सी ऑन टॉप ऑफ दिस टेम्परेचर कंट्रोलर वी हैव प्री सेट वैल्यू आर पी वी which is actual temperature which is read by thermocouple also it is set value which we set in this temperature controller also we have total four indicators al1 and al2 for alarm indication we will learn about alarm also we have one indicator of out if relay is operate then out indicator will blink also we have one indicator for auto tuning okay its mode key mode key is used for entering any of the parameter also we have temperature unit indication degree celsius or fahrenheit which we used indication will display first understand connection of this temperature controller so 5 and 6 terminal is used for input power supply which is 220 volt ac okay also 3 and 4 which is relay output if we use relay output so need to use 3 and 4 terminal if we use ssr output so need to use 1 and 2 terminal so for ssr 1 and 2 and for relay 3 and 4 terminal will use okay also we have two alarm points it is common if we use al1 so need to do connection 7 and 8 If we use alarm two, so need to do connection in eight and nine. It is common, okay. And if we use J type thermocouple or two wire thermocouple, okay. If we use two type two wire thermocouple, so need to do connection in ten and eleven. And if we use RTD three wire thermocouple, so need to do connection in ten, eleven, and twelve. For entering any of the parameter, press mode key for three second. First, we enter in group first. In group first, first parameter is alarm one temperature. Okay, you can see alarm one temperature and second parameter is alarm two temperature. Okay, first we set temperature in this parameter. After that, we will learn working of this parameter. So in alarm one, we set twenty. Okay, in alarm two, also we set twenty. Okay. first we understand how alarm is work okay for same mode function we press mode key for 4 second we enter in group second okay we need to enter in alarm operation mode so first you can see al1 for alarm first is alarm operation mode in alarm operation mode first okay if you set a1 a1 for deviation high limit okay If you set temperature of 100 degree Celsius and alarm value is 20, so alarm will operate when preset value is 120. Okay. If you set A2, that means deviation low limit. If you set alarm is 20, so alarm will operate when preset value is 80. Okay. I hope your concept clear. If you set A3, okay. If you set A3. so your alarm will operate before 20 which is 80 degree celsius of set value and after 20 which is 120 degree celsius i hope you clear the concept if you set a4 okay and set temperature is 100 so alarm will operate at 80 degree celsius and alarm will off at 120 degree celsius okay if your set value is 100 and you set 20 in alarm temperature okay i hope you clear the concept now for setting in al2 we set a2 okay in al2 we set a2 which is deviation lower limit and in al1 we set a1 which is deviation upper limit or high limit okay you can see in al1 we set a1 in al2 we set a2 okay you can see our set value temperature is 227 and we set alarm 20 okay so in alarm first for operate alarm first if our temperature is less than if set value is less than preset value if set value is less than preset value of 20 then alarm first will operate okay that means if preset value is more than set value 20 then alarm 1 is operate and if preset value is less than 20 of set value i hope you clear the concept if preset value is less than 20 of set value 
then alarmer 2 will operate because we set AL2 deviation lower limit. Okay, I hope you clear the concept. Now see other parameter of group first. So we press mode key for 3 seconds. We clear concept of AL1 and AL2. Also we have auto tuning which is off. Okay, if you on this auto tuning then temperature controller will prefer to maintain set value and preset value automatically okay and also if you set in temperature controller PID mode so you need to enter proportional bend P value integral time I value and derivative time D value okay and also we complete our group first parameter now need to enter in group second so press mode key for 4 second you can see we enter in group second first it input type Okay, input type we set JI1CH, J1CH, okay, J1CH for J type thermocouple. You can see in manual J1CH for J type thermocouple, YCH for K type thermocouple. Which type thermocouple you connect to this temperature controller? So just enter value of thermocouple, okay. So input type is for thermocouple type. Next parameter is unit type you measure temperature in degree celsius or fahrenheit so you can select for now we select degree celsius ok now next parameter is i and b input correction ok if your temperature controller show wrong value by any of the reason for example your temperature controller showing 10 degree less of actual value ok so for now our preset value is 231 ok and if your temperature controller is showing 10 degree less, so we set I and B 10. Okay, when we set I and B 10, then now your temperature controller will show 10 degree plus, which is 242. Okay, you can set value in plus and minus also. Okay, if your temperature controller show wrong value. Okay, I hope you clear the concept of I and B. Next parameter is input digital filter. If you need fixed or stable temperature and if your temperature controller is showing lots of variation, so you can set time. If you set a for example 1 minute, so for 1 minute you will get stable temperature. Okay, so it's the input digital filter for fixed temperature. It's lower limit of temperature. So for lower limit of temperature, we set minus 30 degrees Celsius and higher level of temperature we set 800 degrees celsius ok just for higher and lower limit of this temperature controller next parameter is control output operation ok for which function you use the temperature controller if you use temperature controller for heating operation so need to set heat if you use the temperature controller for cooling operation ok so need to set cool for now we use temperature controller for heating operation so we set heat ok I hope you clear the concept next parameter is control type ok if you select PID mode so just need to enter P I and D derivatives value and if you set on and off so your temperature controller will automatically on and off according to temperature so better operations of this temperature controller we need to set PID mode ok I hope you clear the concept next parameter is out which function you used for this temperature controller relay type or SSR type so for now we use temperature controller for relay type so just to set RLY relay ok next parameter is lock if you want to lock temperature controller parameter so just on this lock parameter and enter password after that your temperature controller will lock ok then now any of the parameter will change. I hope you clear the concept how to set parameters of this Autonix temperature controller.